All right, guys, I hope you guys are doing well. It is October 18th, uh, Friday, and I'm doing things a little bit different here today. I got a app that records the screen, so you don't have to look at my beautiful face for 10 minutes or however long this video takes, but um, we're going to see if this works a little bit different. So uh, I wanted to take a second today and talk to you guys about a couple different betting strategies um, that people use out there, one that I use specifically um, to manage my money and to bet on games. Um, this is a little bit different than the normal video where it's a free play and where you just take a free play, win or lose, and move on. And then you try to, uh, you got these guys out here just basically just trying to hope they win five free plays in a row or six free plays in a row so you'll buy one of their packages and then they lose their ass. So a little bit different. Sorry if you guys are one of those guys out there watching, but um, I don't believe in paying for picks. Never have. Uh, never will. So, anyway, this is a uh, this is a little bit of a video I wanted to do on what's called the Labouche method. Maybe you guys have heard it. Maybe you haven't. Similar to a Martingale. Martingale system is basically where you make a bet. If you lose, you double it. If you lose, you double it. If you lose, you double it. Many of you know that is a system that will get you into trouble real quick. Um, because many people don't have a bankroll high enough <clears throat> to support such a system for a long period of time. And um, we're all going to have losing streaks. Uh, we're all going to lose games. We're all going to go on streaks where we lose games. Um, so this is a little bit different. Um, this is just a method, and I've got examples up here on the screen, um, which has to do with uh, the NBA season starting. But this is just a method, and we'll take, um, we'll take this line here as an example. Um, basically, you just start out with the amount of money that you want to win. So let's say, for instance, you want to win $10 on this particular team. And this is a relevant example, as I'll get into later, that shows you what I actually do um, with every team out there in every sport. So um, let's say you want the Wizards and you want to win 10 bucks. So you break that out into 10 $1 items here, right? So Washington wins the first game. Basically, what you're doing when you are placing your bet is you're taking the first number and the last number, and that's what you're betting. So on this particular game, you would have $2 on the Washington Wizards to cover the spread. If the Wizards cover the spread, basically how you manage the line is you eliminate the front and the back, and then the next game, you do the same thing. So you will take the front and the back, and you're betting $2 on the Washington Wizards. So. Um, that's just a basic example of how it works. Once you clear the line, you've pocketed your money, it's in the bank, you've got your $10, and you move on. So let's say, for instance, Washington lost. So we're back to the original example here. Washington is, um, again, we're betting the front and the back, so we've got $2 on the Wizards, and they don't cover. So what we do then is we put at the back what we lost. So in this case, you'd put a 2. I put the juice in as well because I, I want to be accurate. There's a lot of times when people just are fudging numbers and, and saying, you know, whatever they want. It's easier to put a two, but I put the 2.2 on there. So you lost, you put the 2.2 at the end. The next time the Wizards play, what do you do? You bet the front and the back. So you're betting $3.20 in this example on Washington. And this can be a unit. This doesn't have to be a dollar. You can do whatever. So let's say your unit is ten dollars and you are betting one unit two units you would bet twenty dollars on the wizards and then if they lost you would then bet 3.2 units or 32 dollars on the wizards the next time they play so that's just an example basically of how the system works the mark the uh labouche system i've modified it a little bit and, and hopefully going through videos um in the future that will come to fruition as to how I do that. But anyway, I've got this spreadsheet set up. So this is this is basically every team in the NBA. Um, and the reason I want to show this is basically in order to clear one of these lines, you basically have to win or cover 33% of the time. So if you cover 33% of the time or more, you will eventually clear this line. You may get some bigger numbers at the end that you end up betting, but eventually if you've got a bankroll big enough to do it, you will clear this line. So this is a way that you um, can definitely make money. Uh, you can lose money, 
but you do have to have uh, bankroll management in order to know when to stop and, and stuff. But if you, like I said, if you look at this, and I'll bring, oh shit, I didn't want to do that. Uh, hold on. I'm going to go back and bring up the, the example page. Okay. I'm going to bring up another site. Hopefully it'll come up quick. Um, if you bring up this page and you say, let's go to the NBA, let's look at the last five years of betting trends for any of these teams. So we're going to go to against the spread. We're going to take the last five years. So since, sorry, my, we got one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so against the spread the last five years. The best team out there covered 54% of the time. The worst team out there covered 45% of the time. Well above the 33% that you need in order to clear these lines consistently. Look at the over-under. Last five years. The best team out there was over the total 55% of the time. The worst team out there was over the total 43% of the time. So again, over time, the odds makers in Vegas know what they're doing. These teams are basically about 50-50. So um, that's how I've got it set up. So I'm going to actually do this for every team, for the, every side, and every over-under for the entire basketball season. We'll see how it plays out. So that's kind of something to watch for. Just to give you a preview of the other things that I do it for, I've got it actually for every sport out there. So I've got it. NFL sides, I'm doing it for every single team. I've cleared or banked $90 so far. NFL over-under, I'm doing it for every single over-under. I've cleared $60 so far. College football sides, I am literally doing it for every single team out there. I've cleared $110 so far this year. Over-under, I'm doing it for every single over-under out there. I've cleared $60 this year. So I'm going to go through these. I'll show them to you. Hockey. I'm just doing over-unders in hockey, but I'm doing it for every other one out there. I've cleared $10 because the hockey season just started. So this is kind of the way I approach things. I kind of want to see uh, how this goes and share it with you guys, um, get your feedback on it. Basically, you can see what I've got on today's games if you go to these tabs. Basically, I've got Every game tonight, I've got UNLV. I've got 320 on UNLV plus 14 and a half. I've got 597 on Syracuse plus three and a half. I've got two dollars on Pittsburgh minus three and a half. And we'll go through how some of those work. I don't want to make these 30 minute videos, but here I've got basically I've got 27 or Ohio State two dollars minus 27 and Northwestern plus 27 for 320. So basically, I have a dollar 20 on Northwestern to win tonight. Again, I just do it with dollars because I literally bet on every single game every single day. So you may not think that's a lot, um, but I've got money on every single college football game. I've got it on every single college over under. I've got it on every single hockey game tonight. So if you look at what I've got, I've got 40 bucks on hockey games only because there's six hockey games. But you can imagine on a Saturday, this is the lineup of this Saturday. I'm going to have $451 on college football sides. And I'm going to have $471 on college football over-under. So I'm going to have $1,000 on the line this weekend just in college football games. But they're just small bets. So, um, Like I said, that's just an intro. I kind of wanted to show you guys what I'm doing. Hopefully you guys will follow along for the NBA season because it will be a start to finish. Good example. I'll try to go through some examples daily if I can of how I update the sheets and all that stuff. I'm going to try to keep the videos to about 10 minutes each, though, because I don't want to bore you guys for hours and hours on end, uh, which I could. Um, so anyway, take a look. Let me know what you guys think. Um, I appreciate the feedback. And if you guys like the video, obviously give it a thumbs up and subscribe if it's something that you guys are into. And I'd love to uh, talk with you guys more throughout the season. Have a great day.